All right, this is my ass of 600 gins again. I'm gonna try to get this thing back open again. Come on. There we go. See if I can get this front end now in. Oh, there we go. That is our Gen 600 picked. Now I'm gonna gut it. I uh, marked the top of the Gen spools with Sharpie, blue Sharpie. So when I take the springs out, you can see the gins inside the chambers. Um, so I want to actually do that before I turn the core back, so that way you can see them higher up in the chambers here. Let me bring this in a little. So I want to just take out the grub screws. And then you can see the gen, the colors on the gins to know that they're right orientation. And there's a spring. Six. Three. Two. One. Look at that. I'll do a flashlight here. Let's see. So, if you look in there, you can see all the tips of them are blue colored from the Sharpie. And we'll try to take these out nice and slow anyway, so you can see the orientation. Uh, so, not gonna work very well with, let me go get a follower. Pull these retaining clips off if I can get them off my fingers. There's one. Come on. Two. All right. So, this isn't going to break if I use a follow. I don't know where to find out. Shouldn't without springs. All right. So you can see all the pins in this plug there. And then we'll start pulling these out very carefully. So you can see Gen 1.
And there's the Gen N2. And then it's the Gen N3. Four, but it, yeah. Harder to see them further back in here. Yeah, they just keep dropping. Five, and then finally six. There's the housing. It's got a sidebar roof, but 600 of them sidebar. Let me dump these key pins out. You can see the milling in the chambers here. You get light on the other side as well. And then I'm gonna show you these gin spools that I colored on one side. So no color, blue Sharpie. Did that with all of these. Make it very aware that the orientation was correct. And that's the key. I'll give you a close up of these pins real quick again. You can see the blue on the backs of those ones and on that one as well. Anyhow, hope that clarifies the orientation of these gins.